It is. When you're making a living as an artist, um, and I saw this on your videos, you don't get the expensive stuff, you know. And actually, when I, I mean, when I, when I had the, you know, it was nice working with Lars and Kim in the studio, but they, um, and then I would actually paint all day. That's what I did. I just would go to work and paint illustrations. And yeah. They had, um, you know, a Kalinsky Sable brush that was probably worth 20 bucks, and right next to a, uh, a synthetic brush that's worth, you know, four dollars. And I would bounce between them. I'd have a whole big thing of paint brushes, and I'd use them all. And you can't tell the difference? Not really. No? No. If you get a good synthetic brush, you know, you can pay a lot of money if you want for yeah. the best. But, I mean, if, if it all works the same, then why? Well, yeah, yeah. Or oh, we did a lot of oil painting, and, and then, um, and I don't use turpentine. I use paint thinner. Oh, okay. Yeah. I kind of do the same, too. Yeah, actually, I don't know. That's all I use it. <laughs> yeah, was, well, I mean, art school. I mean, I remember they made a big thing. You know, they they even smelt like, um, oh, you know, something that wasn't turpentine. But uh, I mean, I I talked to professionals that use paint thinner. Yeah. Yeah. Do you use paint? liquid? Um, for medium, I use different things. Yeah. If I want to dry fast, I use Grumbacher Three. What's that? Never heard of that. Um. Well, I you know I think it's right here. Well, no, I, I like water, um, I like, uh, what do you call it, walnut oil for a medium. Now, why is that? Slow. It dries slow. Oh, slower? It's, it's nice. Is but that linsen oil? It's, well, it all depends on the deadline. Yeah. If it's due in three days, I prop it up against, um, I have a fireplace below. Yeah. And I prop it close to the fireplace to let it dry. Yeah, I, I, I do it with the heater. <laughs> well, and, 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 then, and then when I was illustrating, I would actually spray it with crystal clear. I'd stand back. And have a mist of crystal clear. I, I mean wet oils. I mean wet, wet oils. Jesus, brand new, wet oils. And I would spray crystal clear and it, just let it mist on it. Do that about three times, and you can send a wet oil. And I've done it many times. I'm surprised it didn't crack or no, or. Well, or s no, the thing is, if you crystal clear is actually liquid plastic. Right. So you well, put enough of that on. I mean, I mean, we do say you mist it like three times, and then you put it on really heavy. I know, but if, it depends how thick the oil is on the canvas. I mean, you wouldn't want to send oil paint that was that thick. Right, right. White. Right. Thick, you know, that would take a month to dry. I know. Um, but it will actually dry through the back of it. Because I've gone through later on paintings that, you know, have been mailed back to me. And, yeah, it's dry. It dries. I don't know. It dries. Now, explain to me what, what other things do you have over here that mix the oils. I mean, you... you Let's see, what's this? Oh, here's Alkid. Yeah, I like Alkid. Now, what's that? Well, what do you use that for? Um, fast drying. Oh, really? Yeah, I like, I like Japan dry, cobalt dry, and... Um, it, it, it's how fast they dry? Yeah, um, this is... Or is this how they, how they feel when you put it on the canvas or the your surface? <sighs> I mean, I well, why do you use all different kinds of things? Hmm? Why do you use all different kinds of uh, mixtures? Well, I'm experimenting. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm learning. See what works? Yeah. Um, I like, you know, you use linseed oil. That's kind of the standard. Yeah, that's, yeah. In art school, we did um, one part, uh, well, for, for medium, we would actually do one part um, DeMar Varnish, one part linseed oil, and one part uh, turpentine. And that was a really good medium. That's what the, a lot of, I think that's what the old masters used a lot. And now, why, what's the purposes of uh, slowing down the drying time? Well, it depends on what I want to do. Right. Um, Burnt sienna will dry. Burnt umber will dry. Sheets four hours. It'll be dry. Oil. If it's thin, yeah. If it's yeah, thin, yeah. It'll dry. Yeah. So sometimes I want to slow it down. Oh, okay. But honestly, no. You know, oil paints they dry slow enough. I don't worry about it that much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. Because I, boy, with oil, I, I don't have any trouble with time. Yeah. Acrylics, I do layers. Lots of layers. Yeah. I, I love acrylic. You know, and the funny thing is, is I really like working with latex paint. And I figured out why is um, it's kind of like a consistency of like um, baby food, right? Well, baby food. Well, or... Yeah, yeah, d depends. Well, I was reading about uh, Robert Bateman, who I'm a big fan of, yeah. who does wildlife, but he would actually mix his paint, his acrylics, and use mostly acrylics in baby food jars, to the consistency of like pudding or something. How are you thickening it up? He likes painting thin like that, but. Uh... Oh, oh, thin. Yeah, he thins it out, but that's the same thing as latex paint, you know? I wonder if he uses, uh, I, I doubt if he uses water to thin it out. Oh, yeah, water. Mm -hmm. Water, yes. and what else? There's something else 
um, oh, you uh, mean the like, media, uh, uh, medium. Yeah, they have a medium that I don't use that. I, I can't just, remember. I just use water. Yeah, it's acrylics. So it's a twenty first century medium. Yeah. So if anybody denigrates acrylics, that 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 little that irritates me. It does. <laughs> it's a twenty first century medium. It is. Well, yeah. I mean, it gets better every. And you can put it through an airbrush. You know, you can put it through my Iwata HBC. Yeah. Which you know, you can you can airbrush oils. You got thinned down a lot. Yeah, and but you need to wear a mask. Yeah. yeah. And I wear a mask too when I use acrylics, definitely. And this is where you spray right here. Um. Yeah. Yeah. In yeah. fact, I've got here's my mask right here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I I don't want to die of pancreatic cancer. No. You sure? Painful, slowly death, dying. No. I don't know. I just I'm very cautious when I paint. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's I remember good. a really good artist in art school. I went to the Columbus College of Art and Design, which is a really good art school. Yeah. Um, he was a really good good artist, but he would he would wear gloves to paint in oils. I mean, there's certain colors. I mean, like flake white, Naples yellow, and some of your cadmiums. They have some pretty bad stuff in them. Oh, lead. Well, he smoked. So, yeah, you don't want to smoke when you do oils. Why is that? Well... You got oils on your fingers. Oh, you oil in your mouth. In your hand. Yeah. You put a cigarette in your mouth with the oil paint in your lips. Yeah. How did, how did Bob Ross die again? Cancer? <sighs> I don't know, but my, my grandma took some classes from him. See? When she was in Alaska. Yeah. Because I know he, boy, I mean, he dips that paint in there on his camera thick. Well, I mean, Van Gogh, I mean, he would mix his own medium. He'd mix his own paint with beeswax and all that. And I'd like to experiment with that, with litharge. And beeswax. The old-fashioned way? Yeah. I, you know, I think so. But, you know, who, who has enough time? <laughs> well, I know. I was going to say, God, if you take it that long time, and he, uh, if you barely know knows the difference, why yeah, even do it? it? I mean, I mean, as a professional, it comes down to time and money. Yeah, time is money. Yeah, and, and how quick you can do it at, at a uh, good quality speed, too. Right, right. And then, um, well, I saw that Fred Choate thing. Was it him or somebody said that the... You know, they had a, a teacher that said, just use the best stuff. And I'm like, well, she's, I can't tell the difference half the time. You know, and I use it all the time. So I right. Know. Right. I mean, maybe somebody could tell the difference. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Um, let's talk about your t-shirts. Yeah, t-shirts.